first off, Essenza, you need to sponsor your girl because we have this, we have this, we have this, 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 this. We have all these, all these bags. I don't care, you better just sponsor me. I'm waiting. I'll just be here waiting for your call, your text, your email, you know? guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is Sarah if you are returning thank you so much for coming back if it's your first time here please consider subscribing to my channel because trust me you're going to love it here yeah so today's video is a very very exciting video for me I can't wait to start filming this video this is going to be an updated perfume collection video we have so many new perfumes new to this collection so I posted my first perfume collection video about six months ago and yeah we have an update one today you guys can tell I'm excited I've literally become a perfume addict I've you know what I've been an, a perfume addict like ever since but then I think of late the addiction has increased guys this is a very expensive addiction very expensive this is what we're working with today these perfumes are so heavy today we're just going to be talking about them quick disclaimer i'm not a perfume expert i'm not a professional in this i'm just a girl who is addicted to buying perfumes and i love smelling good i'm going to be telling you guys which ones are my faves the ones that aren't my faves a lot of these perfumes were blind buys trust me a lot of them were blind buys the question i know i'm going to get asked a lot is where i buy my perfumes from so i'm just going to clear that the place i buy most of my perfumes from is essenza like you guys saw in the beginning you guys should tell Essenza to sponsor your girl. Look at all these bags. Oh, funny enough, I've worked with them before, but that was on a skincare collab. Yeah, so tell them to work with your girl. If you're watching this, you work in Essenza, your mom works in Essenza, you have a friend that works in Essenza, you own Essenza. Girl, sponsor me. I'm waiting. <laughs> the second place I buy my perfumes from is an online store called Shop BID. They sell authentic Arabians and designer perfumes. You can get that from them. You can talk to her, she would give you recommendations even. The third place I buy my perfumes from is from a wholesaler. So I have a wholesaler. I buy like low end Arabian to mid to the middle price perfumes from him. And then finally I buy my perfumes from like the official store. For example, brands like Keali, I buy perfumes from like their official store. Yeah, let's move into the perfumes in no particular order. The first perfume on my list is Mosuf. This is a very popular perfume right now in Nigeria. I feel like everybody and their mom has this perfume in their collection. This perfume is all over Instagram. Every Instagram vendor has this perfume. So you can get this perfume between 5,000 Naira to 10,000 Naira depending on where you're buying it from. I bought mine from a wholesaler and I got it for 5,000 Naira. On Instagram, most vendors sell this for 7,500 Naira. Some vendors even 10,000 there but i think i was just lucky <laughs> mosuf is an arabian perfume to me this leans more feminine this is a very spicy woody perfume so it definitely has wood in it definitely it has wood in it and it has this very cute packaging i don't know where mine is but then it comes in like this bag it's like a drawstring cloth bag it's very cute i think that's so cute i think there's also the black one i have smells that one but i think that one is more masculine it's kind of unisex it has notes of chocolate top notes chocolate rose yeah definitely for females i feel like it's, it leans more feminine than it does masculine mosuf is one of my favorite perfumes i use this perfume so much this is one of my everyday perfumes you can see how far i've gone with this perfume so the next perfume on my list is u touch by frank olivia i got this perfume off of the recommendation of Fumi Moni. That's our perfume, our fragrance auntie, <laughs> Fumi Moni. I got this perfume off of her recommendation. I have about three perfumes that I got off of her recommendation and this is one of them. I've heard that this perfume is a dupe for Oud Ispahan by Dior. I haven't smelled that one but then from reviews I've seen, they basically smell the same and this is literally 10,000 Naira. That one is about 250,000 Naira so you pick your fighter. This is very long lasting. You can get up to six hours wear from this perfume. This has been an everyday perfume ever since I got it. I didn't used to be somebody that checks the notes of perfumes. I've been literally addicted to perfumes like ever since but then I didn't really used to check the notes but then I noticed a similar scent from like literally every perfume I like. That was when I started taking notes of perfume and then I noticed that I'm definitely an amber girl. Let me see. 
definitely has wood in it to me this perfume is unisex a male can use it a female can use it it smells very good very very good and i think this is a very good layering perfume um if you're not somebody that wants to smell like you want your perfume to smell so strong you can layer this with maybe a sweeter perfume but this is definitely strong yeah it's a strong woody perfume it smells like oud basically the next perfume on my list is a zara perfume and this is rose gourmand gourmand scents are basically scents that smell edible this is definitely sweet extremely sweet top notes rose it smells like roses so good if you're buying like fake roses and you want to give somebody this is a perfume you should spray on it and it will smell like real roses this is an amber scent it has notes of rose and i feel like this would be good to layer with this From what i've learned about layering perfumes and what i've tried layering perfumes that have similar notes chef's kiss you will love it so this has amber and this has rose among its top notes this has rose as its top notes and amber literally following so you know that this combo is going to be amazing i like to go for like the stronger ones first before i like just top it up with the softer perfumes here are all my zara perfumes from this store in abuja i know that there's this zara store that sells like i don't i know zara perfumes and i think other zara stuff i didn't get it from them i got it from this store in abuja i'll leave the name i can't remember the next perfume i have is zara oriental i've had this perfume for almost a year now and you can see i don't even use it that much not because it doesn't smell good it's, it's, it's not my favorite honestly it smells very fresh if you want to smell fresh you want to smell fresh smell clean it, it just smells very fresh most of the time i use this perfume in the night so it says top notes are caramel vanilla woody and it also has it's powdery it's sweet it's floral balsamic warm spicy and patchouli i love vanilla but this i don't let me see I don't really smell the vanilla honestly this oriental it's a good perfume it smells very fresh and it's not an oud perfume by the way it's an oud toilet so oud perfumes have higher concentrations than oud toilet but this this is not bad i use this most of the time in the night when i'm going to sleep but not even every night you can see so those are the only two zara perfumes i have in my collection i definitely want to add more zara perfumes in my collection if you're somebody that doesn't really like your perfume so strong and all up in your face you should definitely go for udu, udu toilet but like me i want my perfumes the projection i want it to project i want when i pass you should know that sarah is coming even if i enter silently my perfume will make you turn like who, who's who's that girl who who me me yeah, yeah it's me it's me it's me <laughs> yeah so the next perfume in my collection is Giorgio Armani my way girl this perfume let me tell you something you're only going to get one perfume in this get this one i just saw that there's an intense i didn't know that there was an intense honest and i'm such an intense girl i'm such an intense girl like any perfume that there is if there's an intense i definitely have to try the intense first but then i didn't know there was an intense before i got this one but even though i love this perfume this is a floral perfume it's very sweet but not sweet in an annoying way not sweet in a victoria's secret way <laughs> oh my god I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's floral. It has white floral in it, tuberose, citrus, vanilla. Um, I don't even know what I'm smelling, but then all I know is that I love what I smell. I love it. Love it. Highly recommend. I got this for how much did I get it for? So the next perfume on my list, which is my favorite perfume at the moment, this has been my favorite perfume for like the past three months now is the Givenchy Lintredit. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I don't care. But all I know is that this is currently my favorite perfume. This perfume is perfect, literally. I bought this perfume off of Fumi Monet's recommendation. She raves about this perfume so much and I knew that I had to get it. This is a very warm, spicy, um, floral perfume. I mean, let's spray it. This perfume is it's warm, it's, 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 it's cozy, it's comfortable. It's a very warm, sp it's spicy too. It's a spicy perfume. Once you spray it, it's going to hit you. Oh my God. 
I was on an island and I had to pick only one perfume trust me I'm going to pick this perfume this is so good this is this was a blind buy but it was worth every penny guys highly highly recommend the next perfume on my list is Twilly Twilly de Hermes this perfume as you can see I've only used this perfume once in my life I've had it for like three months now and I've only used it once in my life guys I don't I don't like this perfume at all I'm so sorry but I do not like this perfume at all it literally smells like soap I said it smells like soap and then I sprayed it on myself this perfume you can tell is a very citrusy perfume it has like I don't know what it is is it lemon orange but there's something citrus in this perfume that I don't I don't like it I'm sorry um how did i get this perfume it was a blind buy it has ginger in it so it's very spicy yes there's ginger in this perfume yeah there's ginger let me check so is it white floral warm spices citrus tuberose woody whatever i don't know i don't i don't like it i'm so sorry to people that like this perfume but i it's, it's not my favorite perfume at all uh yeah <laughs> what made me buy this perfume i don't even know i honestly can't remember what made me buy this perfume but do i regret it absolutely <laughs> i think i'm going to be selling it off to somebody that likes it or something i don't know so the next perfume on my list is an arabian perfume is kaid al fursan i love her oh my god hmm this perfume is an Arabian perfume. Don't, it doesn't have any form of oud in it. It is just sweet, it's very feminine. It's fruity. Um, I don't know what fruit it is, but it's very, it's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. It kind of has some depth to it. I would say it's a bit musky. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. It's really good and it's really affordable i got it for five thousand naira. um it's an arabian perfume it's from the house of latafa if you have arabian perfumes you probably know the house of latafa they have like a range of perfumes this is a very sweet definitely feminine perfume it's very sweet very good i love it the next perfume we're going to be talking about is in love with you by imperial armani guys why doesn't anybody talk about this perfume i've heard so much about stronger with you there, there are other ones yeah. but then i haven't heard about this one this perfume is so good oh my god you know i initially went i got this at essenza by the way i initially went to get stronger with you but then when i smelled stronger with you it was just like it, it didn't it didn't really impress me it's a good perfume don't get me wrong and there's so much hype about that one but that one didn't even move me i didn't even want to smell this one but when i smelled this one i didn't even think twice i didn't even pick the 50 ml i carried the big bottle this is a very sweet floral perfume it has notes of patchouli in it Mm, it's so sweet so sweet so sweet and very girly if you if you like to smell girly feminine i would say buzz babe this doesn't smell like buzz babe if you want to smell like just very cute you want to feel girly sha this is the perfume for you it's like floral and fruity are the same mixed in the same this is a very sweet perfume sha perfect for layering with like oud or very strong perfumes this is like a perfect layering perfume so the next perfume i have here is black opium this is ysl black opium extreme so this is the intense version of the regular black opium it smells very similar to black opium just that it's stronger it smells like coffee straight up i can smell coffee the coffee in this doesn't even hide if you love coffee like me i love this so much it smells like coffee is spicy black opium you know black opium black opium is a bit spicy but this is even more spicy all of you that slander black opium let me just let you know that there's no black opium slander on this channel black opium libre you guys need to leave it is so long lasting this is even more long lasting that than the original black opium which is expected because this is the intense version so, first of all if you're not going to buy any perfume from this because you feel oh maybe they are too expensive or anything like that at least you should buy a perfume from a nigerian boss babe a nigerian brand this is goddess by big girl by omar guys first of all let's talk about the packaging because excuse me this is a nigerian brand this is a nigerian brand did you hear me yeah okay so this is goddess by big girl by omar 
Mm. So I remember when she put out the I think snippet of this perfume and she put amber i was just like there's nothing that is going to stop me from getting this perfume i pre-ordered it even this is an amber floral perfume yeah and it smells very rich intense it is sweet and intense at the same time it's a sweet perfume that's very intense you're going to this is giving me boss babe vibe you want to smell like a boss babe big girl you know now big girl be good <laughs> this is the perfume to wear it's literally going to make you feel like a goddess basically like the name implies so highly recommend it retails for only twenty thousand naira. honestly this is an oud perfume you're getting 100 ml i don't know what other deal you want but go and get this perfume i believe they have a website and you can also order from their instagram page because me i ordered from instagram dm i've spoken about the her other two perfumes in my previous video but yeah look at it it's the bottle for me yo it's it's the bottle for me look at my own is dirty safe sorry let me wipe it and do that again <laughs> the next perfume in this collection is one that i don't know if 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 there wasn't going to be another perfume this was going to be here in my last perfume video you guys remember i told you i might get the intense i got it and look at how far i've gone you guys know libre is one of my favorite perfumes so i had to get the intense one and the intense is a lot more intense libre is a beautiful beautiful feminine perfume this just embodies woman female it just it just if you I feel very feminine when I wear this perfume. I definitely make you feel like a lady. I would say I love Libre and Libre Intense. This is my Libre perfume. I would say I love Libre more, but honestly, I love the Intense version more. It is, it has vanilla in it. It's floral. It has lavender. It's a sweet perfume. It's a lot more sweeter than that one. That one is a bit in your face i don't know how to explain it but then i love that one regardless but this is a lot more sweeter a lot more intense lasts longer that one already lasts long but this lasts even longer love her next fragrance here is c passion this is Giorgio Armani's c this is the intense version so i smelt it on somebody like i said if you watch my vlog i spoke about it i smelt it on somebody but it was actually like the original one i smelled but then i went ahead to get the intense version instead of getting the original one this isn't bad this let me let me see what notes it has in it this is fruity woody musky powdery okay white floral um this isn't my favorite perfume i don't know why there are some perfumes that have been hyped like this one but when i spray it i literally don't smell anything that's the case with this one i don't know if there's something wrong with my nose and i've heard that this is a thing that there are some people that will like smell a particular perfume but no matter how many times they spell it they don't smell anything that's literally me with this perfume and kaylee vanilla i'm going to talk about that for some reason it just doesn't do it for me i don't smell it like that i don't know why i, I just can't smell it so much so yeah but i don't know if you want it maybe you can watch other reviews where they talk about it but this is definitely not my favorite perfume and the bottle is ugly i'm sorry so the next perfumes i'm going to be talking about are kayali perfumes i have vanilla 28 pink pepper sweet diamond and amber this is like how it comes this is how the amber one came look at the box guys but the boxes are so beautiful so so beautiful and this is amber this is invite only it says invite only amber 23 i watched a review and it said that the numbers beside the perfume is basically the number of times that they took the perfume back to the lab like while they were testing it so this one they took this one back to the lab 23 times crazy yeah but it was totally worth it this is a true true amber scent girl this perfume is everything and i have a dupe for this it's called amber olong i got this one from mini so it literally smells the same it's just that this is more intense of course so this one's a udu perfume intense this one and pink perf pink pepper they are both my heart was literally in my mouth thank god i have my carpet here this is my favorite from the rain they say it's unisex but i feel like this leans more feminine it's sweet it's, it's warm it's a bit warm and it's just the perfect scent sweet diamond pink pepper this perfume is very very spicy i heard that this is very seductive I sprayed this perfume for a friend of mine i was like would you like it if a female wore this perfume and he was like oh my god yes and i was like okay maybe like that is actually true 
and it's very feminine very strong lasts so long i love it second favorite in this range and then unfortunately and i feel like to the surprise of many people we have vanilla 28 so this one was taken back to the lab 25 times also this was what 23 oh yeah 23 it has become a lot darker than when i got it at first guys i have a problem with this perfume from what i've heard about this perfume it is very sweet and it's a very good layering perfume it has notes of brown sugar it's very sweet but i have a problem the fact that every time i spray this perfume i can't smell anything i've asked a couple of other people and they're like oh my god it smells so good it smells so sugary it smells very sweet and yeah basically how they describe it they are smelling that but i'm not smelling anything i don't know why that's so crazy to me honestly i find it so disturbing sometimes but yeah i don't smell anything every time i spray this perfume it's a good layering perfume from what i've heard so yeah i don't i can't recommend this but that's like keali's best seller that was why i got this because the best seller was like okay let's see what the hype is about but my favorite is definitely invite only amber love it she smells so good and then pink pepper this yeah. next perfume on my list first of all look at her bottle this is D G, the only one intense i'm such an intense girl i don't know why i don't hear people talk about this perfume but this perfume is so so good highly recommend lasts so long it is feminine i don't think it is a unisex perfume but highly recommend so the next perfume on my list this is herba pura by zerjov girl look at this bottle now check it see yourself you said check it so this is going to be the last perfume on my list i got her from essenza very very good perfume. this is a fruity perfume it smells honestly it smells expensive it's fruity citrusy i love this fruity citrusy but i hate twilly um citrus fruity i don't like that one it smells so good i don't want to spray out so much because she's not cheap it's very sweet it's very musky very strong it lasts so long and it just smells expensive look at the bottle highly recommend it's not the most affordable i'm sorry i don't know any deeps for her but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know more perfume recommendations i have so many more perfumes on my list i have killian I have Baccarat's Extra de Parfum and a lot more. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.